welcome back welcome back to my channel let's get right into my get ready with me um and i think i am going to try the eyebrow um from ipsy i wasn't but we'll try it this morning we're gonna start off with mary Kay facial cream I prefer to put my concealer and contour on put it on first and then let it dry This is the Oma Double Take. Let's see. So now let's be completely transparent. I've never used a brow gel like this. What you say from this? Clean it up a little bit. Mm. Then my right one. Hopefully, we can clean that up. But I do like this product. I do. She's cute. All right. Take my brush. Spray my brush. And even though I do use the same brush, I do not. When I'm blending, I do not mix in. I got, you see, I did all of my concealer first. And then I go back in and blend it up or in, out. I don't know. For me, it just helps in my head. And it might not be true. But in my head, it helps me blend. So, 
that's what I do. And go back. So, that's my first blend. This is from Live Glam, Live Glam. I think it's Live Glam. Spray, spray that on while she is drying. Oh, take the same concealer that I put on my actual, my face. Always, always the left side gives me the blue, man. If you do it this way, which I'm not sure why I've chosen to do it like that. But then you do have to go back in, make sure you blend in that concealer so you don't have a, a line around your brows. Um, on my palette, High Life. Crayon case, double sided brush. I've been noticing the trend for the different, like, mm, the color blush that like matches your eyeshadow. So I can't wait to try that. But I need to, you know find the correct products i typically where i put contour is where i push uh the powder but today i'm not going to do that i think and it could just be me being heavy-handed the last couple of days in pictures and things i feel like if I do this powder at the top. It creates a, which is supposed to, because it's going, but it creates a heavy shadow. So today I'm not going to do that. We're going to see what the picture looks like once I finish. And, you know, but you should absolutely, wherever you put liquid, you should put some type of powder to make sure you set that. Then I do have a nose brush, but for the purpose, I am kind of on a time. Crunch. Okay. This is a new lash glue that I am trying. I I struggle with lashes, point blank and the period. So I'm trying this glue. I just actually looked up on it. I was trying to do my lashes 
in the car, my makeup in the car, and realized I had left my lash glue at the house. So I ended up having to stop. And I got this lash glue from Walgreens. What I had to learn first off, I cannot put the glue on the lash. If I put it on the lash, it doesn't work. But if I put it directly on my eye, which, let me show it to y'all. Line it, lash it. It's actually an adhesive eyeliner. Reading is fundamental. These just some uh, Amazon lashes. Just so that I keep lashes in. Nothing special. I said I've got to figure out how to put lashes on with a um, tweezer. Because that may be easier. I've been doing it with my hand for so long. What I do like about this glue is once my lash is in place, it absolutely lasts all day. Like, there are some glues, like, I have to keep it in my purse because I know my lash is going to lift at some point. But this one, oh, that one went on real nice. What you say? Oh, she ready. Okay, one more time. If you notice, I don't know if it really does anything, but I do like the way my makeup has been sitting. Um, when I spray the first time directly on my face, let that dry. And then the second time I kind of spray up, and let it kind of just fall. I don't know. It could be subconscious. Um, it was actually an accident that I did it that way the first one time. And I just remember thinking, wow, my makeup. Now, it could just be because I sprayed my face twice. I don't know. Now, under normal circumstances, I would absolutely put a lip liner on. But I'm almost out of time. So, we're going to go straight in. These are... Beat by Deb, I absolutely have perfected, I think, this look, lip look. So this is the darkest color. It's called Skin. As you see, it does absolutely blend in. Go in with Overnight. With Overnight, I just put... Right in the center of my bottom lip. And it is very important. That was something like I did watch Deb do hers. But it's very important that you do that. Uh, block more than rub. Then this color, which is skin tight. It is really, really light. Very, very light. And put it just directly in the center.
There she goes. She ready. All right, y'all. Well, that's all I have for you today. I absolutely, I do like the Anastasia Brow Gel. I think I need to spend some more time with it. It was my first time using it, but I do like my right brow. I think it went on really nice. I was able to clean the left one up a little bit, but again, I always struggle with my left brow. And this lip combination from Beats by Dev has become my all-time favorite. Like, it is my go-to. So, for this natural glam look, nothing, you know, just the basically foundation. Oh, as you also noticed, I did not put any foundation on. That has become my kind of little, you know, beauty hack. Just put this on. I will dust a little bit of um, powder on top just to set again, set my eyes because I did put um, liquid right there. And so you want to make sure that you set wherever you put liquid. So I will go back and do that. But this is my everyday get ready with me um glam so if you've been with me this long make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like these makeup videos which i haven't done in a while i've been really focused on my hbcu videos but if you like this video let me know in the comments let me know and i can do another one we can try some new products because i'm always buying makeup so we can try some new things um make sure if you have not joined the royal family that you <laughs> smash 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 the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you are notified every time i upload dairy out